Hello, I'm Oliver. Just uh, received a new box from XDRC. It is a blue painting 945X writer. Let's open it to see how beautiful it is and test the function. Here's a customer paper. Well, we take out one by one. Here is the radio. Let's see what is on there. It's the bucket. So one flat bucket. This is a normal bucket. Okay, what is the next? Uh, syringe. Some spares and handrail. So now we will take out the excavator. Well, it is quite heavy. I will take out with my colleague. Well, it is secured with the foam. Very okay. Take out the plastic bag. Let's check the painting, not get anything. Scratch during shipping. Okay, this is where we need to cut it. Yeah, nice painting. Well, everything is out of box. And the later we will put the bucket, assemble the cylinder, and test the functions, put battery, hydraulic oil. So from the out looking good, no damage, nothing, and the painting looks great. Uh -huh. The door is closed by tap. Now the every part, the handrail, hydraulic system, the the arm cylinder all connected. So, and the battery are also connected. So now we can start testing it. This is the spare bucket for making flight. We will put aside, and on top, we have this one. I remove this cover so you can let we can see inside what is there. So this plate I, I put here. Let's start moving it. First the light, we turn it around so you can see. Switch on. So now all the light is on and also on the rear side top have this warning light. Switch on by this button and change it. Okay, this is the light. And this one got no sound system. So if you want sound system, let we can put the upgrade for you. And this is the left track, backward, forward, right track. Okay, going back, spinning, and 
for turning, spinning the body, left stick. And this switch, if you switch down, the turning will be more fast. So two level for the spinning the body. Okay, switch up will be slower. That's for the spinning. Okay, so this one already make a mix control for the pump. And uh, for separately, you can start the pump here. Start the pump. And uh, for mix control, no need. You just control the, the arm and bucket will start out. Let's first move to the most up position. That's the up position. Let's go down, make a digging. Okay, this is, now the pump is 80% running, so if you want more power, uh, can increase a little more, but not so safe for the hydraulic system here. So it is suggested no more than 80%. And uh, you see the speed and the power, it is enough. Anyway, if you insist, you can increase a little bit more for the hydraulic load. Okay, we can also control it a little bit slowly. For the accurate control of this one, the, this one, the radio, for the control curve, you can also control it not so steep. You control it slowly, so you can, uh, you can handle it more easily, like you push the stick, uh, when you start pushing, it's not going to move so fast at the beginning. This one you can adjust from your radio. Okay, let's slowly run it to see. That's the moving for the arm and the bucket. And uh, so we will move back a little and uh, we will open the cover to see inside. So here we put the battery. You see it still got space. So for this one, 5,200 mAh. Can even put a bigger one. From here, we will be able to see the hydraulic pressure. When I run it, you will see it's a little more than 3 bar. So if the arm reach end point, the pressure will be a little more, a little more than 4 bar. So like I said, 80% for the pump, the motor, it is enough, no more higher. It's not safe for the hydraulic system. Here is the servo for the three channel distribution valve. So and down there, as I open this cover, you can see from there uh, a little bit. From down there is the distribution valve, and here are the holes for leading to the arm and the bucket. Okay, here this one, it is the spinning motor for the for spinning the body. This one also brushless motor. So also for the pump, pump is under there. You see from here that is the pump, and uh, and this top is the motor. So the motor and the spinning motor and the driving motor, they are all brushless motor. So here uh, under there, it is the hydraulic oil tank. So the oil level you can see from here got this transparent hose. Okay, we will close this cover. And I turn a little bit so you can see other side of inside the body. So under here, this cover, the side door cannot open, so we can only see from top. Here is the receiver and uh, the ESC on here. So the wires, the electronics mostly at this point. And uh, so now we will see, cover it, so we can see the side for the cabin. Okay, so from the side, this door, sorry, cannot open. <laughs> and uh, here are the track and some leather. 
this bracket, uh, brushless motor, lift up a little so we can see the, the road wheels. It is there. And here the turn roller, it is, this is the metal color, not painted. Also, return roller should, yeah, also stainless is still not painted. That's the metal color. And the tension for the track, we can push a little to see this one. Have the tension inside got the spring. If too tight or too, you, or how to say it's too loose inside this one, you, you open the bridge inside actually can adjust the screw tension. So here come to the cabin. We can open it, this handle. It is locked by a ball with spring. So that's inside and got only one LED light there for the screen. Okay, that's the cabin. From the cabin, here got the mirror, handrail, and here is the wiper, this glass. And we turn it a little bit to the front. From this angle, we will be able to see the hose for the big boom, two cylinder come from under there. The hose, and here are the two cylinder, inlet, outlet, and to see from top. Here are all the holes for another two channels. One is the front arm cylinder, in, out, in, out, uh, depending on you go out, go out or re remove it back. And here is the cylinder for the bucket. This one is only for the, the oil come here. And uh, let's say here because coming two holes all connected to this middle one, so this one can move like uh, inside can come in more oil more quickly <laughs> for opening and uh, more power for digging to digging the land because this oil go inside, push it, and the bucket is doing the digging mode. Okay, so from here, here is the push button for manual release this bucket. Have to lift up a little bit. This one is the hook. And actually, we can change this when you can see it. Hook from here and lift up, lock it, pick it out. That's the manual hook. Okay, let's see this side. So this side, we also got this handrail. It's very strong stainless metal, the mirror. And this cover you open, this cover, there is oil tank. You can fill up oil from under there. And here, exhaust pipe. This other cover also is metal. So for this machine, the only plastic is the hose and the, the wind shield, wind glass. Others, it is all metal. Even the cover everywhere, it is metal. Let's see the, that's the rear side. Okay, so. We turn up a little bit so you can have a view of the bottom and see the thickness of the plate. You can see from here. So, after looking at this, you will have an idea how thick is the metal plate, how is the chassis looks like. Okay, thank you very much. This is the X writer from XD Moto. And uh, it is 945. We will see each other again for other models. And any suggestions of what you like to see can tell me. I will make it for you. Thank you. Bye-bye.